Good afternoon, everybody. It's February the 2nd. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I've decided to do this video in one long video, the whole covering the whole day, because there wasn't quite enough to cover in two videos, but there's a lot to cover in one. And when I say there's a lot, there is a lot of value within this video. So stick with me and uh, we'll break this day down. Um, very, very sloppy, but you know, there were opportunities within it. Uh, just one of those days where you had to pick your moments. And if you're on the right side of the fence, you did well. If you got caught in the chop, you did. You, you definitely got caught in the chop today. So let's start with the hourly as usual. And we had this big range, right? We had this big range yesterday. I personally wanted to see a retracement back somewhere into some form of a discount before running up. Um, I don't like taking entries in a premium to run further into a premium. It's always high risk. And so I was, I was, I was aiming for something around, around this area, around the 50% equilibrium point, right? For us to run long. It didn't end up getting that. And I'll show you why, right? So if we drop down onto the two minute for a, for a moment, you see this fair value gap, which forms here on the one minute. This is where I wanted us to fall back into, right? So into the 30s for us to then run up into, into the 4200 4, area. And I was wanting us to come and run these stops here before moving up. And in hindsight, we never got there. And the reason why I was thinking that is because we had these equal lows. So I wanted to come run these equal lows, run into this fair value gap, collect some more longs and run us higher, trapping retail into thinking we were going lower. However, we never got there. Um, and so it happens, but there were opportunities um, in a secondary phase um, Although I was cautious because of these hanging here. I don't know why it was just one of those days. I, you know, it was just one of those days which was tricky. But um, we obviously had this period of consolidation. If we throw our fib across it, um, we can see that we had a nice bounce if we took the exit out. after. So we had the consolidation expansion out retracement into the OTE zone. You could have taken an entry off this 62 fib for a, a run to take these equal highs up. that was sat here. High risk, but you know, I saw I see T take it, but of course he would have. Um, I, I didn't take it, but you know, that would have been a trade. So you can see we had, um, you know, a run down into into uh, into an accumulation phase to pick up more longs for us to then expand out. In hindsight, it's beautiful, but this would have been tricky, it, and it was tricky in the day. Anyway, so we we moved out of this consolidation zone. We ran up into taking out these equal highs, and we ran into these equal highs, which formed some form of short-term resistance. Um, and once we broke through it, this then forms a breaker block, right? So we could then look at this and say, all well, right, well, our bias has always been to come and take these longs initially at 41.6, and we had some more uh, 41.75, and then 41.79, and ultimately 4200. I was actually punching at the start today. I had 4.225, and I'll tell you why later. Didn't quite get there, but it was the right direction. Um, so if we were in this zone and we were looking to target these equal highs, where could we have taken an entry, right? So we know this is a breaker because we've, you know, we've, we've um, tested it once, we've come through, tested it twice, had, and this is a mid block, right? This is a bullish mid block. So we've got a high, low, high, failed low, breaking through the high and then retest that order block, right? So, um, in, and we've got a break and this then forms a breaker. So we've got a breaker and a mid block as your confluence for it to run higher. As we expand out, we get an, a, a bullish order block here. And then we get some really horrible sloppy price action where it comes and does an inter, inter, institutional um, uh, order flow entry drill, right? The ICT brands um, before running high to take those equal highs. And then we get some more horrible further choppy, choppy action around the data release at 8.30. Um, but what we do get is another breaker block. So we get, the, we get the high, we get the low, we get the high, we get the failed low, and then we get the, the test and then the break and then the retest, right? This then forms a breaker. This could have been another entry. We just stop below these equal lows um, for us to then run up and take this 41,700. Um, sorry, 4,175. It's been a long day, as you can probably tell. Um, and then again, we get another order block midway through that point and an, uh, another um, in institutional uh, order flow entry deal. Um, for us to then, you know, takes uh, to you know uh, take some horrible, more sloppy, choppy price action up into this forty one seven five. Now, if you missed all of this, you're probably thinking, "Fomo, oh, god damn it!" You know, I wanted the forty two hundreds, I missed it. Where could I've got in? You could have taken an entry here, um, you know, into this zone off the fifty and the sixty two. Again, it would have been fairly high risk, not a great run, to, you know, to come back and re and to come back and retest this level. Um, but if you were really, really strong on your bias that 4200 was the target today, you could have waited for us to drop back into this mid block, right? Um, and if we just take a, if we take a fib across that range, it falls within the uh, OTE zone, right? So that would have been a lower risk entry, although you would have been waiting ages, you know, to, to take that entry. Um, sometimes waiting is good and you would have avoided all of that garbage. Um, so yeah, we saw some nice price, uh, aggressive price action out of that. Um, what I would say is that it's really important to note time. Um, I still always talks about time and price. 1010 is a really key one. Uh, so you have one at 950 and 1010 and price will look to take out the um, um, buy side or size, uh, sell side liquidity 
um, of the one which it hasn't already taken. So you can see at 10.10, we'd already taken the lows at 10, so it's more likely for us to go and run the highs. So, bear, so do make note of that on your charts. 10.10 is a good uh, macro to look at in terms of time, right? And then you saw us have this lovely long, um, you know, extension up. You know, this was the run of the day up to the 4200. Um, we then get some uh, choppy price action. I won't go into too much detail here. It's very choppy. I wouldn't uh, suggest trading in any of that. This is absolutely gnarly. Um, and then during lunch, we had some, we had an interesting piece of price action. So I always look for aggressive movements and look to see what I can take on a, on a, on a, on a rebound. Um, so we didn't quite get down to the 62, but what we did get inside the 62, um, bearing in mind. I was targeting these equal highs, right? You know, because I still had 4,200 in my mind as a bare minimum. So I was still thinking these were, you know, in the bullseye. And we had various equal highs. We had one here, we had two, we, sorry, we had one there and one there. We had one here and one here. And so there was, a, there was a lot to go at. And so I was constantly looking for longs, but I didn't want to get caught in this chop. Now, where did I take an entry? It's this volume imbalance, right? And I was waiting for an entry to come back and I had my stop literally right below it. It was a, a really safe entry. I, my execution wasn't great. I didn't hold it for very long. Um, and if you bear me one second, I can show you that trade. Um, so if you look here, it was, um, if you see for, uh, 4185, I took it at 4186 and I saw scaled and scaled out. <coughs> Final get out was 4193. Um, so yeah, that, <coughs> that saw us ultimately run up into, to take out these, uh, it took out all of these and then retraced back. This fair value gap turned into, uh, res um, <coughs> into a support level. Um, it also found another OT zone for us to have a further run up because if you can tell we still didn't hit 4200 and 4200 was the draw on liquidity today in my view it was a magnet so um we then saw some uh, <coughs> some price action bounce off that some nice aggressive movement um tiny little fair value gap in here um which uh, I didn't actually take but you know you could have taken that as a as, as an entry um uh, for, 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 a, for a long up to the 4200 um and then again we have another volume imbalance, which was uh, an entry long. Um, and this was my entry up into 4225. And I'll just show you, I did take this trade. Um, wasn't the best, but um, I still took it. Uh, just to show you that I I do take my trades, what I say. So um, yeah, 4197 got out, 4201, right? Not the best, but still, right? It's, <laughs> um, so why was I looking at 4225? Why was I looking at 4225? The reason why I was looking at 4225 is because there's this volume imbalance on the daily. And I do believe that at some point that's going to get filled. Whether it gets filled tomorrow on non-farm payroll, uh, we'll wait and see. Um, but it, it obviously didn't quite get there. What did it get to, though? Um, what we have recently found out is that wicks are gaps. And this is consequential encroachment on the daily wick. And it's rejected it to a T, right? So um, that is where it ultimately found its terminus point, the PD array on the higher time frame. Um, and then if we do have a PD array on the higher time frame, the daily, and in the PM session we run and hit it, you automatically target the lows of lunch, right? Honestly, I you know I, I, I heard this in one of ICT's teachings and I wrote it down and it's gold. So every time in the, in the two o'clock session, you run into a PD array on the daily, look for the lows during lunch and price will run to target that. It's actually coming absolutely blistered through it, but um, yeah, that's that. It's, that's, a, that's a gold piece of advice if you weren't aware of that already. So, look, there was a some, lot of information in that. Um, it was a really sloppy day. Um, some nice moves, but ultimately uh, you had to be super, super patient. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, look, if you've got any questions about any of this, feel free to drop me a message and on Twitter or on in the comments, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Cheers. Speak soon. Bye.